Good morning. Today is Thursday, August 18th, and the word I heard this morning is titled, They've Unknowingly Taken the Bait. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful, but first I'm going to remember Holy Spirit wants me to pray, so we're going to pray first. Holy Spirit, I just thank you for your people. I thank you for those who know you and who do not know you, Lord. I just release your anointing over them and through the airwaves and I release your glory over them and through the airwaves Lord your supernatural divine protection be about them and that you would encompass them in your love in Jesus mighty name that they would know you deeper and in a new way in Jesus name amen and amen let it be for your glory Lord let it be your truth that comes forth. Let it be only you, Lord, in the spotlight. Let it be all about you. And I thank you. I welcome you, Jesus. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. And I welcome you, Papa God. You are welcome. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, let's go right in. Now, it's funny. Um, the Like I said before, God he'll deal with me in uh dreams he'll deal with me uh with visions um sometimes they're open visions or closed visions an open vision is like when your eyes are open um and it's kind of like you have a screen in front of you or sometimes it's like i should say it's it can be like you have a screen in front of you or sometimes for me it can be like um like it like an image that overlays what the what's happening in the natural or i was going to say like the reality that is out here or that i'm seeing it's like it's like i can see it on top of what i normally see like what everybody sees um but so this vision was uh this vision i'm trying to think this vision was a uh a closed vision because my eyes were closed and I just started to see this I was just praying when I woke up this morning and I went into a vision and I saw Whoopi Goldberg and she looked really sick and she was thin and gray I say gray she had like gray hair but she also complexion just kind of seemed gray and she had a staff in her hand like like in that I think it's NBC the show that she played like some kind of oracle or something i never watched it but i it might even be called the oracle i don't even know i never watched it but um whatever that show is where she played some some kind of oracle or whatever she kind of even looked like she was wearing that type of clothing and she was sitting on a high bar stool um and she had a feeding tube going in her nose going up and through into her nose i don't know if that's something that's going to manifest in the natural where she's going to physically get ill or if um or if this is something in the spiritual where we're going to see her like you know slowly come back out of the limelight um you know i don't know he did not say so i cannot say but i i don't know but Either way, Lord God, we just pray for this, for Whoopi Goldberg. We pray for her salvation. I'm not praying for her um, to not be removed, however God chooses to do. But I am praying for her salvation, Lord, that she would know you um, in, a, in a way maybe she has never known. Because maybe she did know the Lord at one point. I don't know. Lord, we just pray that... I'm just hearing the Holy Spirit that she felt like she was a prophetess and that's why she has the staff where she would sit up on a high seated place and begin to prophesy her narrative which is like this demonic narrative let's just you know the devil's narrative and she would begin to prophesy these narratives out to the people and they would take it and eat of it and then they would become full on that and it would um, go down and overtake the people to where that's who they were. They would just manifest that, whether it be, um, you know, whatever the, the narrative was, they just kind of became. 
especially women, because they feasted upon those words when she's sitting upon, um, on that platform, the view. Um, so that is just what the Lord is saying. So we're just going to watch and see how that plays out. Now, this next part is kind of my favorite because <laughs> Holy Spirit is so poetic. He can be so poetic. It doesn't have to be all the time. Sorry, I'm getting like bit by uh, mosquitoes, but um, <laughs> he doesn't have to be always poetic. But it's just part of who he is. And sometimes he just shows it and he can rhyme things so well. Like... <laughs> <laughs> without even like he just flows you know it's just effortless um it makes me think of uh and please forgive me if i get her name right but it makes me think of um clarice floret i think is how you say her name and she like the rhyming prophet i saw her on sid roth a couple times um years ago uh where you know it's like because the holy spirit begins to speak and she just goes into these rhymes and riddles and I, it's just amazing um but here it goes. <laughs> Ready yourself, the clock is ticking, and the countdown has begun for the great unveiling of the work I've done. The unmasking hour is upon thyself, and you're about to find out what they've been up to, you see, you see. They've been up to, or what they've been up to was not about me. The plans of the wicked and the unrighteous ones that set at the pulpits as if we are one. No, I said, be holy as I am holy. And you said, I will not. So the clock has been ticking and the time has run out. Repentance has come and my grace has flowed out. But you denied me because your gift has never stopped. Haven't I said in my word, my dears, that the gifts given here without repent are the gifts given without repentance here. Let me read that one more time. Haven't I said in my word, my dears, that the gifts are given without repentance here? The clock has run out and your time has gone. Ready or not, here I come. And he named it Poetic Justice by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I love it. And that is obviously speaking to the people in churches and in pulpits and who are just, you know, they... I just try to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. The it's it's he's speaking to thank you, Holy Spirit. They're speaking to um the people in the church. You know, they will think, you know, I'm I don't have to repent because, or I'm not doing anything wrong because God has not stopped me or my gift is still flowing and working. So therefore I'm exempt or excused. And that's just not so. The gifts of God are without repentance here. He's not going to just, that's what the Bible says. So he's not going, he is not going to just strip people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit said, it's just like people who are operating as mediums and things like that, where they're these psychics. They, they have a gift to probably be a seer for the Lord. They can see into the spirit realm, but they're, they're using it. It's demonically inspired and it's skewed and it's always going to be wrong because the devil can't give you truth. It'll always be a lie no matter what it, no matter what, because even if it's an ounce of truth or a, a pinch of truth, it's going to be wrapped and enveloped in lies. So it's it's not even true. The devil can't tell the truth. This is why I don't wear my glasses, because when I get to talking, they just slide off my face. Um, <laughs> but sorry if that's annoying to anybody. I keep trying to move my glasses, but that's that's my thing. But um, but yes, yeah, so. You know, he cannot tell the truth. And that and that's really dangerous to think that you're above reproof because, you know, your gifting is working. Oh, I'm you know, I'm my church is still growing and whatever the case may be. Um, mm -mm, no, he says, be ye holy as I am holy. He's called the church to come out of the world. Um, we're we're going to see a 
I mean, we've already seen it. And I've said this before, but God has been saying to me for ooh, many, many years now that there, before, before COVID or anything like that, he's been saying to me for a while that there is a great, a great separation coming. The wheat and the tares are going to be separated. And those who say they're for him, but they're not really for him, all that that they masqueraded behind and played house or played church, all the playing church is going to come to an end. He's going to expose. And it's going to be great exposure. It's not going to be... I just, I don't know, I just, I'm starting to, I feel it in my... He's going to expose and... their falls are going to be great and it doesn't mean they have to fall from grace to where you know that they have to you know be a part of the devil's team but we need to pray for these people's salvations because once they get taken down or removed by the lord the devil's going is going to try to feast on them and try to take them down with depression and or just say it doesn't matter you you can just you know you can keep going or whatever he's going to try to twist it but lord we just pray that eyes and ears be open lord that they be open to receive from you lord that when that happens when you remove them when you come to to each person individually because every person has an appointed time when you come to them lord that they make the right choice. That they be able to have a moment of clarity, Lord, to receive from you and make the right choice in Jesus' name, Lord. Amen. Okay, let's go on. The time has come, my little ones. The stage is set. And the WEF, that's the World Economic Forum, has to answer to me all the lies, greeds, and dirty deeds shall finally hit the fan, as you would say, and splatter all over their whitewashed gowns. The fake holiness will be found out. The fake hospitality and care will be known. And now God addresses them. For I shall lift the gowns. Oh, for I shall lift the gowns up and over thy heads you fools you thought truly within your hearts that you could go toe to toe with the living god what will you do when your deepest secrets start coming out where will you scatter you roaches when i turn on the light it's too late to run and hide the food you've been eating is poison to your narrative and you've already taken the bait back to your colony and all who feasted upon the flesh of the unborn and my church and the innocent you are marked with a mark that cannot that is all caps come off and it illuminates when I turn on my light you said you wanted to be known as the Illuminati that you wanted to be the illuminated ones. Well, ready or not, here it comes. The Lord sits and laughs. It's hard to contain. You wanted priesthood and you wanted fame. The prophet you appointed is nothing more than a joke. You really think you can continue this hoax? You have all deceived yourself, for your hour of reckoning and ruin has come. Quick, run to your rooms and close the door. Maybe Almighty God cannot see you there. Be still, and maybe he will pass over you. These are the whispers that I hear. Nay, for I, the true all-seeing eyes, have I seen all that you have done I'm sorry, and I have seen all that you have done 
and all that you would do planned upon your hearts. Your time is finished and it is over. No cloud will save you and no computer data, I'm sorry, and no computer database either. You have chosen the fire, saith Almighty God. So now reap my whirlwind. I will say to you, my children, behold, watch, take note and notice my mighty hand, saith the Lord, your rescuer and redeeming Messiah, forever seated at the right hand of the Father, majestic in all his ways, rightful ruler and king, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen and amen, Lord. I just thank you for this word. Sorry, my air conditioning cut on. <laughs> Lord, I just thank you for this word. I thank you, Lord, for this time. I just wanted it to be about you, Lord. I thank you. We just add Holy Spirit, I just ask you, is there anything that you want, want me to do, say, pray? I will do it. Lord, I just thank you. I just thank you, Lord. I just thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. I feel the Holy Spirit is saying, for those who are still playing church or still on the fence... Um, and still not sure or unsure or thinking, you know, you're, you're going to church or you're, you know, um, you say that you're a Christian, but at the same time, you don't necessarily live th that way as far as being holy the, the, by what the Bible says, not by what your, you know, standard of what a person says, by what the Bible says. Um, God is saying to you right now, come out. Come out. Come out of that right now. I speak to every bondage, every lie, every deception. Because the problem is you get this, a little bit of deception in you. will will begin to corrupt you. I speak to every form of deception right now. And I curse you with an unrevocable curse of the Lord. And I say you die now in Jesus' name. That deception dies now in Jesus' name. You shall not take hold any longer. And I speak now to the people and I say your ears shall be open now. And I say that clarity comes. You will have a moment of clarity to come to you where the Holy Spirit will begin to speak to you and minister to you and bring you out of dark places. Even this word also even for those who are just suffering with dark things. So like depression, you know, is a spirit. And I suffered with that when I was eight, 18, 19 years old. I just, I come against that lying spirit right now. Hopelessness, I break you. I break your hold and your control, your narrative. I destroy it right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just pray for the peace of your of your children, Lord. The peace of your children. I put a shield of protection to be about them, Lord. I send the host of heaven to go before them, behind them, beneath them, on the sides of them, around them, to destroy every plot and plan of the enemy, every demonic agenda set against them, to destroy it to irrevocable ruins right now in Jesus' name. I speak your supernatural divine health to be in them and on them, Lord. That anything that they eat shall cause them no harm. Anything that they touch shall cause them no harm. Even as they go out and encounter these things, that it shall cause them no harm. I speak and put the blood of Jesus on their heads, on the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, that they are covered in the blood of Jesus. And nothing, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing can defeat the blood Nothing defeats the blood of Jesus. They are covered and they are protected in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And Holy Spirit said, remind the people to put on the full armor of God. That's all I got. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. See you guys.